Hey guys, it's G. I'm gonna show you how to make this painting today using the swipe technique and silicone oil. I'm gonna try and keep this as short as possible and load it up with as much information as possible. So do us both a favor and don't skip through the video because you'll miss something important. Without further ado, let's dive right in. So the recipe for this is actually quite simple. It's just one part paint to two parts float roll. And I want you to look at the paint coming off the knife and hitting the surface of the paint. This is how thick your paint should be. This is what you should go for. You see, it creates a little mound on the surface of the paint and that sinks within a second. It doesn't stay there very long, but it definitely isn't thin like milk or water. You know, it does have some grip. Here, I'll show it to you coming off the cup and onto the tile. Should also give you some indicator. So you're using paint and float roll. If it's too thin, add paint. If it's too thick, add float roll. Okay, now we'll make this part really quick. We're just spreading the paint around. This particular um, base coat, or the black in, in, in my case, you never put silicone in the base coat. You only want it in the colors. So I've got one drop of silicone uh, in this purple. And as you can see, there's no real rhyme or reason. I'm just putting paint um, around my little tile. If you want a very organized looking gradient, put your colors in um, like rectangular strips across the canvas. That way, when you swipe them across, you'll get a nice um, smooth gradient. I want cells of all sorts of colors intermingled, so I'm putting the paint in a haphazard manner. So the yellow has no uh, silicone. The um, the sea green also has a drop of silicone. So two of the three colors have a drop of silicone. It doesn't have to be in everything. It can only be in one. The only rule to avoid is having it in the base coat. You don't want silicone to touch the base coat. It will cause craters. Now, I hear many of you already going off about silicone is a pain to clean. I'll give you my mixture for how I clean it. It's pretty easy and you probably have these ingredients in your kitchen already. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm adding the black of the base coat um over one of the edges i'm going to swipe with that this black is exactly the same as the base coat no additives in that and i'm just going to use the edge of a tissue to slide this paint across okay you're not pushing you're merely just pulling the tissue towards you and that tip of the tissue you'll see now the part that gets wet is all that's really touching the paint you don't push it in you just let it touch the surface Okay, now I prefer slightly thicker recipes for um, swipes, so you don't immediately get cells now and have a chance to tilt some of the excess off. I prefer to tilt the excess off before the cells form so they don't warp, um, which is also more likely to happen if the paints are thin. So you'll notice these solid black bits, these might be a little too thick for the silicone to penetrate. So what you'll want to do is what I try to do is lift both corners and just sort of tilt in one direction. You see, I didn't tilt it back. Like there's only so much excess. You've like the, in, in the opposite direction that we tilted, we had already moved the excess by swiping. So I'm just touching up the edges right now with some of the excess paint. And you'll notice some of the, some of the bigger droplets of silicone have already risen to the surface, but Thicker recipes um, require heat, so I'm just using a lighter at the moment. Uh, my torch is elsewhere. I couldn't find it while filming the video. So one of these lighters will do the job just fine. So the two rules you should know about silicone for it to work correctly is two conditions have to be met. The color with silicone has to be covered up with another color. Um, by mixing silicone into the color, it doesn't just magically create cells of other colors. You know, silicone is see-through. It doesn't have a color itself. So in the swipe motion, we've spread these droplets around even more. Um, I've actually stirred the silicone in a lot. And, and this should actually, uh, in, in common lore, or as you'll see in the internet, people will say if you stir silicone a lot, you'll get a lot of small cells. As you can see, I actually have some bits that don't even have silicone. Like even when I apply heat, cells won't pop up. And the cells are all relatively big compared to the canvas and compared to the fact that I haven't 
moved it at all since the cells formed. So that's the first condition. A color with silicone has to be covered up with another color. So when the silicone rises to the surface, as oil does in water, um, it reveals a color underneath it. And that's what we call a cell. The second condition is um, you may need to spot heat, especially if the paints are thick, as is the case with my paints. So by spot heating, you encourage um, the uh, silicone to the top, um, speeding up the process of it rising to the top. And it, when you're using thicker paints, you can also use this to get clusters of cells in specific places. So you can use it for composition to your advantage. So if you don't know the difference between dry and cured, the difference is dry only refers to the surface, whereas the, um, the bottom layer of the paint may still be wet or contain some moisture. Um, you want to at all costs avoid sealing with any material until a painting is fully cured because the moisture coming out of the paint will interfere with any kind of sealant that you may end up using, whether it's water-based or oil-based. Once you've gotten a fully cured painting, clean it with warm water, dish soap, isopropyl alcohol, and it could be called all-purpose kitchen cleaner or kitchen degreaser. I put all of these things together in warm water and use a soft paper towel or a um, just a regular cotton towel and clean it as many times as you need there will be a thin film of color that comes out. Uh, don't be scared. In fact, what you want is for that color to stop coming out because that's what, what was sort of attached to the silicone oil. And that was it for my tutorial on swiping with silicone oil. I hope you enjoyed this video. I do have a workshop, an online workshop that you can check out if you're interested. I'll leave the link for that in the description box and in the info card at the top. If you're looking to learn acrylic pouring, check out this playlist. It'll take you from no knowledge of acrylic pouring all the way through to your first painting, including varnishing it or sealing it, as it's sometimes called. Thanks for watching, guys. This was G, and I'll see you in the next video.